And as the lives of pupils and teachers at the Kokoma DA Primary and Junior High School in the Ashanti region are threatened by dilapidated classroom blocks. Now, the school authorities fear a looming disaster if urgent steps are not taken to rehabilitate the three classroom blocks. Ibrahim Abubakar has the rest of the story. From a distance, the classroom blocks look strong, but a closer view portrays a ticking time bomb. Portions of the walls have developed deep cracks, posing danger to inhabitants. Academic activities are interrupted whenever it rains, for fear that the wall may collapse. We really feel insecure in class because of the crack on the walls, and we are really appealing on the government to come and help us. Some of the pillars are on the verge of falling apart. The corridor to the primary classroom block, which serves as playing ground for the pupils, has also not been spared from the deterioration. Assembly member for Konkoma, Peter Apia, is pleading with the government to rehabilitate the structures before disaster strikes. A computer laboratory project initiated by the chief in the area to enhance ICT education in the school has been left uncompleted due to financial constraint. The district chief executive for Busumke, Joseph Esumen, said immediate steps will be taken to fix the situation. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that serious. So I have, I have been informed. I've just called my education director to quickly move there tomorrow and give me an update so that we see what we can do with the Not in the time wasting because it's quite serious. Quite serious. So we shall do whatever we can to do to fix the school. Basic education is a constitutional right to every Ghanaian child. But the state of many primary school blocks in rural areas beg for attention. The government would perhaps need to strengthen effort towards improving basic education, especially with infrastructure development. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Konkoma.